Hey guys, it's Land and Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is another video we're doing. CAD training video, we'll get this up on our CAD Management Weekly blog. What we're going to do in this video is show you how to take what we call survey based drawing. We're going to take it, we're going to convert it from our CAD standards to the client's CAD standards. So, survey based drawing is a drawing that we developed for this particular client. It's a civil engineer, and they, they wanted a drawing that had our resolve boundary line work and our survey control. And so we developed this, this kind of drawing format. It's a combination of our field drawing and our resolve boundary drawing uh, that they like to use. And so right now, uh, this is for a project we're working on in Merced. And uh, this drawing is on our CAD standard. So it's got our fonts, our layers, our symbols. And uh, we need to convert this over to the client's uh, CAD standards. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in this video. Okay guys, so <clears throat> there's a hard way to do this and an easy way to do this. I'm going to try and teach you the easy way to do it. So I have this drawing that's already kind of set up the way the client wants, right? So it's got their layers and their fonts and their north arrow and scale, that kind of thing. So we're, we're going to use this drawing, we're going to cheat a little bit, and we're going to use this drawing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get my layers set up. So here's what I like to do. I like to just grab the line work for the layers. And we're just going to copy that. Okay, and then we're going to come into the drawing, our destination drawing. And um, I'm just going to paste this. It doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to I'm going to put it over here. Okay, before I make a lot of other changes, uh, you want to make sure that you save this, because uh, we, we keep our version of this. So we're going to save this with the client's initials on the end. Okay, because you don't want to overwrite our drawing. Okay, so now once you once you paste in there like that, you end up with those layers in your drawing. So then we're going to go in BricsCAD here. We're going to open up our drawing explorer, and we're going to take our layers. We're going to take our layers, and we're going to merge them with the with the client's layers. Okay, but before we do that, we're just going to run a purge real quick, so we don't have any empty layers to worry about. All right. So we'll come back in here. Okay, so they, we've got blocks control mon. Uh, I don't remember if they have a layer for that, so I'm going to skip that one. So we've got control mons and property corner mons. I'm going to skip those two. I'm going to skip this one because this is a special layer. Okay, so here's the first layer we're going to merge. So we have survey boundary lines easement. They have this uh, easement E layer that we're going to merge to, so we're going to right click on that, say merge to, easement E, okay, so now that's merged, okay, we've got an easement center line layer, um, and they've got an existing center line layer that we're going to use, so they've got this center line E layer, we're going to merge that, alright, they've got, let's see, Right away center line of ours is gonna go to center line E for them. Parcel design fee for us, let's see. So this is actually not named, right? This one is uh, should be. So it's not the it's not the design, it's just the it's just a boundary, the, the fee parcel. So that we are going to merge to what they call boundary E record, RECD. Okay, so we'll merge that. Okay, we've got a tie line layer. Um, I don't think they had a tie line layer in their drawing, but we'll double check that. Okay, and we'll, we'll figure out what their, uh, what their text layer is and their monuments. So let's just open up Notepad and we'll make some notes here. So these are the layers we need to steal out of their drawing. We need the la their layer for uh, control mons. We need their layer for property corner mons. Uh, we need their text layer, and we need their boundary ties layer. Okay, so we'll make a note of that. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here now, and you can see as soon as we do that uh, that some of these lines have already started changing. Okay, which is that's what we want. So we're on the right track. Okay. Um, OK, 
Okay, but let's go back in here and see if we can figure out what our other layers are. So we've got these control symbols. Okay, so they've just got these on Mon, and I think they put their control and their boundary Mon's on the same layer. So, uh, and I think they just have that on, on layer zero. So our color, zero, uh, just color uh, zero, I think. So we're gonna just come in here and make a new layer that's called Mon, that's what they call it. So they're short, kind of a shop that likes short layer names. And I'm gonna make it white. No, where's my white? Is it zero? Yeah. Uh, that's red. Seven is the one I want. Oh, sorry guys. And so then we'll go back in. And so we've got two layers that are gonna go on. I'll get merged to that. So we're gonna merge our. Uh, our um, blocks for our found property corner monuments and our control mods are both going to go to their monument layer. Okay, and let's see. Oh, I wanted to see what tie layer they had. So let's go see if they got. There's no tire layer here. This is another drawing they gave us. I don't know if they have any tie layers in here. Let's, let's, let's see what we got here. This is, um, they're calling that construction. Yeah. They've got that section line. Oh, how about this? Nope, that's a right over reservation. Okay, so I don't see a tie layer, so I gotta use something that, that comes close to a tie layer. <coughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this section line layer. And, uh, whoop. All right, and then we're gonna go in and uh, we're gonna grab that layer. They called it section line, so I'm just gonna rename it, and I'm gonna call it ties. I'm gonna leave it the color they have, but I'm gonna just pick a different line type. Um, let's go with the, let's load dash, dash two, we'll use that. Okay. Okay, so now we've got a tie layer for them. So we can merge our tie layer uh, to their tie layer. So we're gonna take our survey boundary lines ties and we're gonna merge it to the layer we created for them which was just called ties. Okay. I don't think we need their construction layer. Okay, so that we have some layers in here for points. These have the actual points. And uh, all right, so we also need to figure out what they're doing for text here. So they've got a parcel text layer and they've got a text points layer. So we'll just steal these. So now we've got these layers in. Oop. So we'll go to, in here we're gonna get our text layers. So this boundary text I think is their, what they call parcel text. So we'll merge that. And then our survey text, um, we're gonna put on their text points I think. Uh, and we're going to do that here with survey text point labels too. Alright, so I think we're about done here. Okay, so we've got these lines here that we're, uh, these layers here we're going to get rid of now. Alright, sorry my wife keeps interrupting me. Let's go to, uh, so this, this layer right here, uh, property 
property corners found is also going to go on their mon layer so they just put all their symbols on there okay and then uh, so I'm gonna freeze everything but these uh, these two point layers that I want to get rid of so we're gonna get rid of these we don't give them our, our survey points we'll give them a CSV file if they want but So we should be able to delete these now. Oop. All right, so we've got this uh, right away sidelines layer. I don't think we have anything on that layer in this drawing, so we're going to get rid of it, delete it. Okay, so the only thing I think we're left with here, we got a junk def points layer. And then we've got these two layers, so we, we got a tidal cloud problem. So they like short layers, uh, but I know they don't have this in their layer standard, so I'm just going to call this uh, tidal cloud. And then uh, I'm going to just put that hatch and the line on the same layer, because I think that's that would be how they would do it. Okay, so I think... These are the Carlson point layers that come in. Get rid of those too. Okay, so I think we're pretty close here. I think the only thing I have that's junk in here is def points. We'll see if we can merge that. To, yeah, it's not going to let me merge it. I think if we rename it, it'll let me. It'll let me merge it. So we'll rename it to junk. Then we can merge it to zero. All right, so uh, we're pretty close now to having our layers uh, where we want them. Okay, so everything has their layer names now. Uh, it, it doesn't the line types aren't coming up? Uh, there we go. Now we're getting our line types too. So these are their those are their line types as well. Okay, so once you're done uh, with the with those entities, you can get rid of them over here. because we don't need them in our drawing anymore. And then the other thing we got to take care of is the textiles. That's the next thing after the layers. So uh, we're going to go to style. And so uh, they use uh, this, um, they use Romans S for almost everything. So I think what we want to do is we're going to set, um, we're going to set standard to Romans. Well, let's see how they do it in their drawing. Let's go look. So does this have a style? Yeah, so they, they put all their text on the standard style, I think. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into... Um, we're going to... Um, just make standard their their font, which is the Romans S, if I can find it. Okay. All right. Oh. Let's see. Yep, that's the right one. Okay, so then what we're going to do, all right, so you can see a bunch of those changed already. Um, so if these labels were set to standard, they change. Now you can see when you do that, sometimes you got to readjust your multi leaders a little bit so they're not totally funky. Um, so we'll, we, we got some adjustments to do here, which is okay. I want to make sure I get rid of that overwrite. These look okay up here. I'll give myself a little more room here. Okay, so most of those changed. Now, <clears throat> some of them didn't change. So these are these are set to a different text standard. So you see how they're set to doses? I'm just going to come in. Actually, what I want to do, let me undo that. Sorry. So what you want to do is you want to grab that, and then you want to say edit, uh, select similar. Now you've got them all. And you're just going to change this from from Dosis, which is our font, to standard. Okay, so now it's got their font, and then 
We're going to do the same thing with these line labels. So we're going to say edit, select similar, change it from doses regular to standard. Okay, I think these are all just about changed now. Um, so we gotta we gotta make some room here because their font ends up being a little bit bigger than ours, even at the same text height. So we gotta we gotta make a little more room for this label here. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so we got some room for that. So you just got to go in and kind of visually check your labels and make sure that they're not uh, looking funky or overwriting. You know, like this one. This one got too close here. So we're gonna just move it up. Okay, now this one's getting kind of pulled out of whack. So we'll move that a little bit. Uh, this one I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, be nice if we could pull that in so it wasn't crossing the line. Mm, but it's not a. Let's see if I can do it with a new M leader here, guys. So what we're going to try and do now is just take this and paste it in here. All right, and this should actually say RH control point number nine. Okay. All right, so now that's not crossing the line. I like that a little better. And these all look good to me. I think I think we're in pretty good shape here. Oh, so we got a little over right here. We got to fix. And these labels are all getting a little close, so we just we're gonna have to pull some of these out a little bit to make a little more room. Because, like I said, their fonts their fonts a little bit bigger than ours. And then we gotta pull this up because we're overwriting the line label there. All right, so I think we're getting pretty close now. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do now, uh, we're, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and save this real quick. And then we're gonna run a purge just to make sure that we don't have anything, any junk in here. And I like to run an audit, fix any errors. So it was a clean drawing, we didn't have any errors. We'll save that again. All right, so I think we have this drawing about where we want it. There's actually a little cul-de-sac in here we're missing that I gotta go grab. But we're pretty close to having this drawing now on their CAD standards, I, I believe. I believe we're pretty close. Okay, so let me go get that um, easement. So we're gonna open that back up. All right, so somehow I lost this cul-de-sac here. So let's put this back in. All right, so, and that needs to go, they've got an easement layer. This needs to go on that easement layer. Alright, so we'll put that on there. Easement E. And that actually missed a little piece up here. This one comes over. Alright, and then uh, we're going to just purge so we get rid of that uh, layer that came over from our drawing. I thought I had a couple dimensions on here, but I don't, so uh, let's go ahead and add those. So I'm going to put a dimension. 
dimension there. Put one here. All right, and then we're gonna just match properties on those guys. Okay, so we're gonna grab these, drop them in here. Okay, and uh, they come in on the right textile, but not the right layer. So we're just gonna copy this other dimension here. All right, and those probably don't go. I've got all this stuff on parcel text, and and uh, I think I think I just need they just use a regular text layer that I probably need to make. So let's do that. We can delete our two layers that came in because we don't want them in here. And then we want to make a new layer. I think they've got just a vanilla text layer, so we'll make that. Um, and just for now, so it's easier for me, I'm going to make it red. <laughs> I don't think that's the color they use, but... All right, so all of my... Um, can hear my my wife's evil laugh in there all of my text that isn't a for a point or for uh, a line label we are going to put on this other text layer here all right so all those are going to go on text just regular text Okay. And then I saw that we looked like I thought we had an overwrite. Yeah, so here's an overwrite. So we'll just pull this up a little bit. Okay, so this is on the point text layer. These are all on point text layer. So I think I've got everything layered. The text is layered correctly now. Okay, so um, you know what? We're just going to have some more room if we pull this down. So let's just do that. I'll make things not as cluttered up here. All right, a little less cluttered now. Okay, you notice I've got my wipeout frame turned on, so we're gonna turn those off. We just got a little wipeout around all our symbols. Okay. Pull this arrowhead out a little bit. It's getting covered up. Yeah, there we go. I think we got a clean base drawing for these guys now, so we're going to save that. All right, that was kind of a long video, but I wanted to walk you guys through that. So, just kind of to review, you know, what do we do here? First thing we do is we drop in the entities from the destination drawing, right? The drawing whose CAD standard we want to emulate, and then we start merging layers, right? So, we want to merge all of our layers to the destination layer okay and when you do that you automatically pick up their layer name and their color and their line type right which is what you want to do okay so you get all your layers all of your layers merged to their layers right to the destination layers next thing you go in you go in and you and you convert your textiles right so you change your textiles to their textiles and there's a couple ways to do that right you can um, you can set your textiles to their font or you actually have to paste in their text entities into your drawing and then select your text entities and uh, set the, the style from your style to their style. You saw me do both. We did both things in this case. Um, so you get your layers cleaned up, get your text cleaned up, then uh, you know you want to go in and um, see so we did the layers, we did the text, we ran a purge and you know what I almost forgot. The other thing we want to do is uh, we want to make sure that we're using their block symbols so it's layers text blocks so um, let's go ahead and open that template again because see they, they actually have a different symbol they use for points so I'm gonna go ahead we gotta uh, we gotta fix that so I'm gonna paste that over here okay now that drawing I'm pasting out of I think it's a 20 scale and this is at a hundred so I gotta scale that up by five all right, and uh, 
so I I think I don't think they I think this is this we use the same symbol for uh, monuments but they use this symbol for control which is fine it's a it's a it's a cool symbol I like it <laughs> so we're gonna start to we're gonna start to uh, replace these symbols all right so we, we've got a few of them so I tell you what just to make life easy on myself I'm gonna just draw some lines in here so I can quickly copy the symbol to the endpoint of the lines. Okay. So now, now it's easy, easy to copy uh, their block where our block was at. All right. So if you got your snap set right, you can just should be pretty quick. Just go in and snap those things where you need them. Okay. I think I got a few more to do up at the top there. Alright. So we got a few more to do up here. So again, we're just replacing our control symbol with theirs because we, we want this to look as much like their stuff as possible. So uh, what we did here, we merged those layers, right? Merged our layers to the client layers. We converted our text to their styles, and then uh, we replaced when we needed to. We replaced their our blocks with their blocks. Um, now we have a drawing that looks like theirs, except I think all their text layers are white. So let me fix that real quick. Okay, so uh, we've got. Uh, survey base drawing now on our clients CAD standards we can save that and just so you guys can uh, can see the difference you know here's the base drawing on our standards and here it is on the client standards right so same line work and same basic information just different uh, just different CAD standards all right so cool guys I know that was a long video that was almost 30 minutes but I appreciate uh, you guys watching and uh, you know, I was mostly doing this for my 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 folks, but I wanted to share it. It just shows you how um, you can take a CAD drawing on your CAD standards and convert it to a client standards. You know, a lot of a lot of drawings are going to work the same way, whether they're in that process, whether they're survey based drawing or boundary drawing or topo drawing, right? Same basic principles, right? Merge your layers, uh, fix your your textiles, uh, replace your blocks, and uh, and you'll be a big chunk of the way there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.